The crew consists of two people, pilot and navigator. Unlike in other planes, they get inside the SU-34 not through the open slide window, but through the nose landing gear using this ladder. The fuselage nose starts with the elliptic radio transparent fairing of the radio station, then the cockpit. It is an armored capsule to protect the crew from bullets. In the next compartment, there is a radio equipment and gun ammunition. The crew sits here like in a car. The pilot is in the left hand, the navigator is in the right. The main controller is the control stick. It has a trimmer to lower pressure to make piloting more comfortable. There's a controller for guided weapons, a horizontal button. If a pilot gets lost, he merely presses the button and assumes the horizontal position. There are button switches for combat performance, cannon, stores. To our left, there are engine controls. When you are on full throttle, you pull them forward. Flight information is shown on five LCD screens. A pilot has an aiming device on the windscreen. Information of the flight and combat is projected onto the windscreen. But analog instruments are still used. Main parameters of the flight, such as horizon, speed, altitude, and the other are doubled by good old mechanics. In case the main system is out of order, analog instruments will help the crew get the plane back to the airport. SU-34 is equipped with air refueling equipment. It can fly for indefinite time. During long flights, the crew has the opportunity to stand up, stretch legs, do squats. Moreover, if a pilot's hungry, he can use a, a thermos installed in a special place. He can drink coffee or take a couple of sandwiches along. Here's an appliance, a very, very simple one. It's called sanitary container number two. It's a urinal. 